Hello, good Monday morning, everybody. Yes, it is April 15th. <gasps> tax day. Have you paid your taxes yet? Are you going to pay your taxes? Okay, good. <clears throat> Make sure you get everything postmarked by midnight. Or they'll come after you. <laughs> they always come after me. <laughs> I file extensions. I do all these other things. I pay them a little bit at a time. Yeah, I pay it. It just may not be tonight. I'll turn in the 1040. But then the money part, I'm like, could you guys give me a little time to get, you know, paying installments? But then when you do that, they add on. Of course, uh, the fees and the interest rate and, uh, don't get me started on taxes. But anyway, just to let you know that today is April 15th, it's tax day. So as long as you get something in the mail before midnight tonight, you'll be all right. Or file an extension. That's what I'm having to do. I just don't have everything ready. But anyway, let's get to the weather. Thank you guys, first of all, for giving me a couple of days off last week, Thursday and Friday. Well, Saturday, Sunday too. I've just had a kind of a long weekend. I just wanted some extra time in there. Um, but thank you for that. I appreciate that because it helped. And now I feel fresh. I feel like getting back to work and covering the weather and doing all that. Oh, I forgot that. I see that I forgot to change my background here. I still see a little bit of the when I put this on, wait, let me take that off. Okay. Now let me put this on so that the letter N is not showing up over here. There we go. Where it said, we'll be back on Monday. It was showing up right there. I just noticed it in the graphic. So I, I changed it just like that and made it work. All right. Now let's get to the weather. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Oh, there goes somebody down the street. Howdy, howdy. The Plano cam showing Plano sunshine. Beautiful to golly. The last couple of days have just been outstanding. And, uh, every, everything's looking green and lush and the beautiful spring colors are out there. Uh, we're going to continue to see that today. Although we will begin to see a few clouds popping up in the afternoon. And that will be because of a boundary that's off to the North of us that may spark for some of you especially north of Bowling Green, it may spark a few thunderstorms, even this afternoon and this evening, which I'm going to get to right now and talk about with the severe weather outlook. Now, I will tell you, even as beautiful as looking this morning and the last couple of days, we're now going to have to focus on the possibility of some severe weather. Now, today, you can see the brunt of the severe weather is focused on the Central Plains. That's where they have an enhanced risk of severe weather from southern South Dakota, uh, Dakota, <laughs> Dakota, Dakota, uh, to Nebraska, to Kansas, and then uh, level twos, Oklahoma, Texas, then a level one, even going into Kentucky, north of the Bowling Green area. That's for this afternoon. So let's investigate that just a little bit closer to see what's going on. This is a boundary that's kind of stuck to the north of us, and it's going to try to spark a few thunderstorms this afternoon and early this evening. These would be daytime heating type thunderstorms, uh, and it will be primarily, uh, primarily along a boundary along Interstate 64. So that that's 64 right here from St. Louis to Mount Vernon to uh, Evansville, to Louisville, Frankfurt, Lexington, Ashland, and so forth and so on. I think that's primarily where we're going to see development this afternoon. But with enough moisture in the air and the dew points climbing into the mid-60s today, there could be a pop-up shower or thunderstorm closer to Bowling Green, but mainly north of us, that could be a renegade strong to possibly severe thunderstorm. That's a level one marginal risk. It may not even happen. Tornadoes, not worried about that. 
with this system. These are going to be surface-based thunderstorms that just pop up with the heat of the day. There could be some uh, gusts of wind primarily. That is going to be the main threat with anything that pops up this afternoon. And with some colder air aloft, uh, especially north of us, there could be a minor hail threat. This, this is almost like a very summer-like pattern uh, that is setting up today. Now, the next few days is when we've really got to keep watch of more potent-type thunderstorm activity. Now, tomorrow is April 16th. Do you remember where you were and what happened on April 16th of 19? 19- 98, the 98 hailstorm. I heard somebody say it, which occurred 26 years ago tomorrow. This is not going to be that kind of a day tomorrow, although we will have some, you know, general thunderstorms. It's not going to be the severe type. Tomorrow we actually get a break until tomorrow night. Two waves of potentially strong to severe storms coming in Tuesday night late into Wednesday. So here you see primarily tomorrow, the severe weather is going to be west of us. Okay. Now let's move on to Wednesday, the 17th. Well, (laughs) it's right over us. Level two, slight risk, Bowling Green, Paducah, Madisonville, Owensboro, Frankfurt, Louisville, Lexington all in that yellow shaded level two risk, uh, for Wednesday. Now here's the thing. Wednesday is going to be in two parts. We're going to have two parts. As I mentioned, there will be part one that comes in. Let me put that back up. I didn't mean to, I just meant to minimize it a little. Now there's going to be two parts on Wednesday. One is going to be late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Then we have a break middle of the day. You know how these things work. We get thunderstorms in the morning, which could be severe or close to it. But then the, the break, the dry slot in between the morning and the evening, that's what we got to watch for. And it looks like the sun will come out between the morning round of thunderstorms on Wednesday and the evening round on Wednesday afternoon and night. That's why there's already a level two slight risk out for our area. April 17th, Wednesday could be trouble for us. Could very much be trouble. A troubling day. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. The way things are trying to come together here. um, Yeah, you see that potential of severe weather, 30%, but this looks to go a little bit higher and maybe even go into what we call a hatched area where you see all these little black lines covering an area. That would mean a greater potential for hail and maybe for tornadoes. After that, look at this. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, nothing. But Wednesday... I'm a little concerned about if everything comes together, then we will need to be on guard. And that means like right now, make sure you got fresh batteries in your weather radios. If you don't have a weather radio, go to Ace Hardware stores anywhere. Ace Hardware, get one, get it programmed, get some batteries in it, download the News 40 weather app, boing, that, and get set up. Those are the two biggest things you could do right now. The third biggest thing you can do is have a plan. Have a plan of action should we go into severe weather mode Wednesday. It could be very early Wednesday morning before you even wake up. Then that break. And then the second wave coming through in the afternoon and evening, that's the most concerning. If we get sunshine, we get a lot of surface-based energy, then Wednesday afternoon and evening could be a ruckus 
around here. Got it? Okay, good. Let me open the chat box here. Okay, some of you, <laughs> yeah, some of you remembering back April 16th of 98. Uh, and Angelia, she said she was on campus at Western. Wow. That was crazy. Dorm windows were broken. Big five inch diameter hail. Uh, flooding. You couldn't go under the, uh, the underpass there, uh, on, uh, 6880 right by campus, by the Egypt parking lot. It was flooded. Cars were flooded. It was a nuts day. Uh, we had tornadoes, flooding, big hail, damaging winds. We had everything. Everything was on the table and it just went berserk. And only two weeks before that, the cows were installed, the outdoor warning sirens. Only two weeks, two weeks before that storm hit, we had the uh, outdoor warning sirens. They were brand new. Mandem 98 in the chat room. <laughs> Wait, let me show you this. I think I can show you this. Look at that. Mandem 98, that's the day I met my husband. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess that's a day you'll never forget, right? <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, here's Angelia. I forgot that I can show these on screen. Yeah. On campus at Western four sixteen ninety eight. Well, it's a day I'll never forget. That's for sure. Whew. Goodness gracious. Anyway, so let's move on. Let's get, uh, the picture from downtown. How about that? Here is your downtown AAA systems live cam and uh, beautiful. Gosh. Um, I've got some video of Danny Wilson and I, my road buddy. We went out Saturday and uh, got some video of us just driving down roads, back roads and stuff. I'll, I'm going to try to post that later today if possible. Got a lot of video. So I've got to edit it down and post it later. But, uh, it looked just like this everywhere. It was just gorgeous. I hope that you guys got out this weekend because it was just spectacular. It was, it was one of the most spectacular weekends I've seen in a long time. Um, from, you know, just the beginning of spring and the colors and everything were just, they were just, wow. So yeah, um, here we go. All right. I just had to fix that. Let's go back to this and show you the weather map, the current situation with, uh, there's not a lot going on here. There's just not, I mean, it's pretty quiet, which is good. High pressure in control. Here come the winds from the next system to work in. And there's a boundary that is going to be stuck right across the northern part of Kentucky, right along the Ohio River, right about there later today. That's going to be the focal point for those developing thunderstorms. Okay, there's nothing out there yet. As you can see, it's pretty quiet. Let me turn radar on. These are just little, and already there's some little showers trying to get going up there around Covington. Showers down near Abilene, Texas, and then some off to the north at South Dakota. This will be the severe weather potential uh, today. Let me see what we got here. I was going to try to find uh, rain and cumulative weather radar. This ability. Trying to find a particular layer here. Uh, dew points. There it is. Okay. Now this is another way we look at the potential for where the best moisture is and, um, uh, the potential that the sun could heat all this up and potentially start to pop thunderstorms. Well, you can see it's all right here in the plains, dew points in the sixties, even the seventies. Then you got some of that trying to work into Northern Kentucky. That is that boundary that's going to pop up later today 
and it's going to cause, you know, some, some problems. Cape. Okay. Here we can show you that too. This is that available potential energy for convection. We give it an acronym. It's called CAPE. So you can see already this morning, there is CAPE developing Western and Northern Kentucky. That's why I put in that chance that we could see a few thunderstorms this afternoon. And if they pop up, then potentially they could be rough. Now on the scale down here, you see at the bottom, it's on the low end of the scale, the blues and the greens. Usually when it gets over 1,000, that's a problem. And you can see Wichita is over 1,000. They're at 1434. This is where the best potential energy is going to be today for the potential for severe thunderstorms. So just wanted to show you that. And of course, look at the uh, satellite view, just a few clouds, puffy clouds, high fin cirrus clouds here and there. We'll start to see more cumulus development today um, with the moisture content and that boundary to the north. Here you see pretty good uh, area of, of uh, cloud cover and little boundaries that are set up in the upper atmosphere just back to the west. So there's a lot going on and uh, will continue to go on the next few days as uh, the atmosphere kind of gears up for what looks to be some active weather in the coming days this week, uh, as you saw by the, just the severe weather outlook, especially Wednesday. Let's check, uh, Kentucky Mesonet this morning here at eight Oh nine, eight Oh nine, the current time on this April 15th. And I'm showing you this and the temperatures are very nice. That's why I have kind of a not really a golf shirt, but it's kind of a really thin. Yesterday we hit 85, making it the warmest day of the year yesterday. Warmest day of the year. The record was 88, set back in 19, I think it's 1910, 19 somewhere in there, 1910, 1919. I have to look it back up, but long time ago, 85, 14 degrees above the average of 71. That's where we should be this time of the year. But look at all these 60s and already close to 70 showing up all over southern Kentucky this morning. We'll take a look at local dew points. And they're already in the upper 50s to about 60. Plenty of available moisture. And off into northern Kentucky where that boundary is set up, that's going to be the trigger. Now, their dew points are in the low to mid 50s but that's still enough to pop some stronger thunderstorms later today. How are the winds? Well, they're mostly out of the South at five to 10. It may be a little breezy at times today. You know how that goes uh, as it, as it was yesterday in a few places. Let's take a look at the model blender and the blender is uh, going to show some significant change coming uh, toward the weekend. Now I know everybody's like, I've heard from so-and-so that it's going to be cold. It's going to get cold again this coming weekend. Why aren't you talking about that weather, man? Well, it's because it's not going to get cold. It's going to get cooler, but not cold. I mean, look at that. We go from eighties, mid eighties again today, going to go with 85 again today. And then low to maybe mid 80s tomorrow with uh, that better chance of showers coming in, especially for Wednesday. Wednesday will be more around 80, low 80s with that severe weather threat, especially in the afternoon. Then we go 70s for Friday with another chance of showers coming in. And the system that's coming in for the weekend will cool us down, but just cool us down. It's not going to be cold. It's not going to get cold, just going to get cooler. It's a reset. Temperatures will fall into the sixties by Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but then we hop right back into the seventies next week. So it's not going to be a big wholesale change and the coolest we get at night. 
is going to be low to mid forties, uh, say Sunday night into Monday morning, a week from today. That's not bad. I mean, we can handle that. We can handle that. Uh, the thing we may not be able to handle is just how warm it is. Although it does feel good. The humidity is going to ramp up today and tomorrow ahead of those storms. And it's going to get a little uncomfortable here. Let's set it up for you. Here's a look at the, uh, maps. You see the boundary to the North, which is eventually going to lay across or close to Northern Kentucky by the afternoon. That's when it's going to tap into some of that available moisture. Not everybody's going to get thunderstorms, but I do expect some pop-up activity north of Bowling Green this afternoon and early evening. Those are the ones, if they come together, may turn severe. But the severe threat is very conditional at this point. Here's this evening at 7 o'clock into 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. There will be showers again north of us. Look at all the severe weather out in the plains, Oklahoma and Texas. That's where it's going to get rough today and further north, Nebraska, Kansas, as I showed you earlier. Here we go into Tuesday morning. The front stalls and retreats a little bit back to the north. This thing is going to wobble back and forth the next couple of days until this energy from the west begins to kick in. The winds will begin to kick up tomorrow. will become breezy at times. Here's Tuesday evening. Start to see a better chance of thunderstorms. And this is the, the wave that is going to come through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and could touch off the first wave of severe weather. Then as we get into Wednesday morning, there's that first wave, the front to the west. Here we go Tuesday afternoon, the break. The break that's going to happen before this front comes in and brings us that better potential for severe weather and even into Friday. So we got out of the short-term window and went into the long-term window. That's why it looks like it skipped. But uh, it's, they're not showing you that break between Wednesday morning and and Wednesday evening, but that is going to be the most critical. So we've got to give it a little more time to bake uh, and get out of the uh, long-term window and put it in the short-term window, which will come later this evening and tomorrow. And it will be more defined when that happens. But still, I think just with everything I'm seeing here on Monday at 8.15, Monday, April 15th, it looks like Wednesday, the 17th, very, very much so could be a severe weather day. The kind you don't like. The kind you don't like. I don't like either. Here we go into Saturday, a few showers. This is when it's going to start to turn cooler. Now behind that frontal boundary, Sunday, the showers, still a few left over, but then a they get out of here, and by Monday, they're certainly out altogether. Okay? So, uh, there you go. Uh, Barry. Let me see what... It, Barry's talking about the color of the sky just before the hailstorm in 98. Uh, it was pink. Then it was green. It was eerie. You remember that, Barry? I know you do. It was. It was like pinkish where the sun was reflecting and reflecting off of those big ice chunks. It can sometimes turn the sky a pink color in the clouds. And then when the clouds begin to lower a bit closer to the ground, we're getting reflection, believe it or not, off of the leaves of the trees, which caused the sky to have a green color, which means the base of that thunderstorm has come way, way down close enough to where you can see the green reflecting back up into the clouds. Isn't that something? Thanks for reminding us of that, Barry. That was pretty cool. Gregory, thank you for the update. Um, 
Allison with the weekends cool down. Will plants be okay? Yeah. I mean, we're not going to get even close to freezing, so you're fine. As long as we don't get down to 28, 29, 30, you're okay. But it's not going to be that. It is not going to be that cold. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks to everybody that was in the chat room this morning. Thanks for allowing me a few days to be off. Some say I'm off all the time, every day. (laughs) Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Some people say I'm off all the time every day. <laughs> yeah, I knew somebody would laugh at that. Um, but anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Back on News 40 tonight at 5, 6, and 10. And I'm on the radio right now. Sam 100.7. Have a great Monday. God bless you. And I'll see you later.